Menards. And number four is for the car running in the fourth position. Look at Gus D. Just lose it. Just got loose over there in turn number one. Really has a nice car. Was running well in front of Christian Eckes, in front of Brennan Poole, up into the top five, probably top three. Pretty fortunate he didn't make any more contact than he did. He's trying to make the move on Eckes. Just slight contact with the outside safer Barry. Does a nice job getting it straightened out. What a great view right there. I'm not sure he hit the wall, Kevin. You see Brennan Poole and Christian Eckes go by on the inside. And Eckes just barely missed him. So that was fortunate for those two running in the top five right now. The caution comes out. Dean maybe can stay on the lead lap. And still have a chance to, to get back up at least close to the front. Noah Gregson, who dominated the first half of this race, still in eighth position. Well, this caution is good for him to bunch everybody back up, and we'll see what he can do in the restart. Yeah, Zane Smith's the one I want to keep my eye on. He put it on lap number 35. That means he would have to go 45 laps. These caution laps are certainly going to help. Got a number of cars coming towards pit road. This is a tough call. Our leader stays out. See, Christian Eckes comes to pit road. Sheldon Creed, Cody Robaugh, Gus Dean certainly after that spin. Brett Holmes, Travis Braden comes to pit road. Will Rogers and Chase Purdy. So now this group is going to be good to go on fuel, and they wouldn't mind seeing it overtime. Jim. Sheldon Creed's coming back down pit road. Still a very loose race car. Look at the round turns here. One, two, three, four, five rounds of wedge to get that car tightened up. They're going to go to both side wrenches on the right window. Sheldon Creed again could drive a loose race car, but not here at Pocono. He said the car is way too loose, so an adjustment only. The driver came in this race, second in points. Gostin came down pit road. They got four general tires on that car. Looked at the rear. No damage, but they got fresh rubber on that car because they flat spotted all four tires in that spin. Well, the leader, Riley Herbst, stayed out, but big changes in position. Now we've got multiple strategies, different storylines, and still a lot of racing and a lot of contenders from Pocono Raceway in ARCA.